Hi, I'm Ron Spomer. You know the caribou cow just might be the bearded lady of the deer world. Caribou are of course deer. They grow antlers and anything that grows an antler is a deer. But the caribou cow is the only female deer that grows an antler. Wow, that makes them kind of weird. Well, caribou are special in a lot of ways. They of course are far north animals. They live in Norway and and uh, Siberia as well as Alaska and Canada. So they're circumpolar in distribution and living out on the tundra they have got to run to stay away from wolves. So they have a special adaptation that involves growing antlers. Now the cows have antlers to help them dig through the snow but the bulls drop their antlers after the rut really before the deep snows of winter yet they still survive. So these huge antlers that the bulls are growing aren't necessarily for getting through the winter and finding food. But what they do is make sure that bull can pass on his genetics. Here's what happens. According to researchers who've done some really fascinating studies, the bigger the antlers, the more likely the cow is going to breed with that bull. And she will reject a smaller bull if a bigger one shows up just based on the look of his antlers. And the way they proved this was the researchers went out with a costume, a caribou head that they pulled over their own head. And if the antlers on that dummy caribou were larger than the antlers of the bull that was with the cows, the cows would abandon the real bull and follow the researchers around. Even if they walked up behind them, they'd still follow them because they had the bigger antlers. So what's the point? Well, a bull has to show or prove that he can survive and produce what would amount to a healthy calf. The cow proves her genetic viability by producing that calf. A big calf, she grew him, she put him out that next year. What does the bull contribute to any of that? How can she select a bull that's going to help her grow a big strong calf? He grows an antler during the same time of year that she is growing her fetus. He proves that he can bring in the nutrition, avoid the predators, not do stump something stupid like fall off a cliff, get to be a big old mature male that knows how to survive and his antlers prove it. They're a surrogate fetus that he is growing the same time as the cow. So she selects the bull with the biggest horns or the biggest antlers and then he can produce a calf along with her that's going to hit the ground strong, big, and able to run to stay away from those wolves. And it's all about survival. Antlers contribute to the genetic possibility for increased survival in the calves. <laughs> so these big, fancy-looking bulls that we admire so much are being equally admired by their cows. Thanks for joining me on our Run with the Caribou. For more information, visit ronspomeroutdoors.com.